we'll start with LR 426, uh, introduced by Senator DeBoss to examine issues related to beekeeping and honey production and marketing. Uh, one, one thing that does concern me, if, and if it's a tangent, please forgive me, but uh, there's a legi state legislator in California that is proposing levying a tax of or a fee of a dollar per hive for every hive to fund CCD research. Uh, we're penalizing the victims there. I would, I would suggest, or I would hope, maybe we should levy a dollar per ounce of active ingredient on every insecticide toxic to bees. Let's have them pay for the damage they're doing, okay? And then, I guess a, a, another mistake, or a faux pas, I would call it at the national level, when the CD problem came up, we were short of bees, and we dropped restrictions on importation of foreign bees and queens and colonies. There was a little bit of CYA research saying, well, we didn't bring any new viruses in that weren't already here, but I worked in the vaccine world. You all know about how the change of, of antigenicity and the, the influenza virus goes every year. Just because it's the same virus doesn't mean it's the same strain. That was, that was a big mistake. But uh, we, we've got these typhoid Mary things going on, and you know, here we're sitting here worried about honey. We need to worry, worry about the bee. Uh, the bee's in trouble. We, we need to uh, change our ways and try to preserve the, the poor little thing. All of our uh, save the wildlife things tend to grab the big, visible, talismanic species. Maybe we need to start from the bee and work up. The, the bee is responsible for at least a third, up to two thirds of the food on our plate through pollination. Without the bee to pollinate the alfalfa, the, the beef aren't going to get much protein through alfalfa, although they're trying to get it through uh, distiller's grains, but it's still not quite as complete, is it? But you know, let's do the right thing for the, for the environment, for the bee, and you know, ultimately us. You know, probably the, the, the most humbling thing, did you hear of Alan Wiesman's book, The World Without Us? It made PBS. But he says, uh, if there was some catastrophic thing that took humans out without destroying the world, the only species that would miss us would be cockroaches, pigeons, rats, and domestic dogs. I'd like to be a little more welcome component of the environment, the biosphere, wouldn't you? And there, my preaching's over. Okay. Thank you for your testimony. Questions? Okay. Yes. Oh, Senator Wong. Thank you, Senator. Thank you for being here. Um, I'm sure you watched the movie The Bees. The Bees, did you watch that movie, The Bees? The Vanishing of the Bees? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so you consider this a, a food safety issue also, don't you? Food safety, but a uh, survival issue. Without, we, we've got 250,000 plants on the earth that need animate pollinators. And if, if we're doing them in with the neonicotinoids and all the fallout damage from that, uh, corn's wind pollinated, we're going to have a diet of corn and I guess grapes are wind pollinated. There's four or five things that we can survive on, but it's going to be a pretty boring diet.